Hello guys, what's up? Welcome to Chris Control Automation. Please, if this is the first time you are watching my channel, kindly subscribe, hit the bell icon, and select all to turn on the notification so that you get all my videos. Today we are going to continue from part one. In part one, we learned how off delay timer operates. We drew some diagrams and explained the off delay timer. Okay, we connected the off delay timer, and then we tested it. Okay. But in part two, we are going to control two contactors. Okay, we are going to control two contactors using the off delay timer and then some push buttons here. So please, if you want to understand the off delay timer well, please kindly watch the part one. Okay, kindly watch the part one and understand it perfectly before you continue with the part two. All right, now let me explain the circuit you have here. Here is our MCB, yes, the, the circuit breaker, our stop push button, the start push button. Then the contactor, okay. This is contactor one. This is the off delay timer. This is contactor two. These contacts are all open contact on this contactor, okay. This contact, they are all open contact on this contactor. This contact is an open contact on the off delay timer. This contact is an open contact on the off delay timer. So let me show you here. On contactor one, you have 53, 54, NO, okay. And then 83, 84. So these are the open contacts, okay. Now, the middle ones are the close contacts, so we are not going to use this side. We are going to use this side, okay? And then, this side, this uh, uh, number here is the 15C, okay? That is the common terminal on the off-delay timer. So, this is it, okay? Common terminal, this, this, this one, okay? Yes, and then this is the normally open terminal, the 18NO, 18NO, okay? Now, let me explain the circuit. When the breaker is closed, okay, when you close the breaker, the off delay timer would energize, okay? Now, when the start pitch button is pressed, when you press the start pitch button and close this, this switch, okay, the K1 is going to energize. So when this K1 energizes, this contact will close. They are all open contact on the K1, they will close, okay? So this contact is an, is an auxiliary contact, it's a hold on contact on this, so that when we remove our hand from this start pitch button, okay, the K1 will still remain energized. This contact, it is closing to apply power to the B1. This contact, it is here to apply power to the B1. So when this, quant this contactor energizes, okay, this contact will close to apply power to the B1, okay. The moment the B1 gets power, okay, get power, this open contact on the off delay timer to close. So when this contact closes, this K2 will also energize, it will come on. So it means that when you press the start push button. This K1 and K2, they are going to energize at the same time. They are going to energize at the same time because when this contact closes, okay, when this one closes, it applies power to the B1 and then this contact will close to energize the K2. Okay, now let's try and stop the circuit and see what will happen here. Now, when you press on the stop push button, okay, this contactor, the K1 would de-energize, it will go off. So when it goes off, okay, this contact, they will open back. They will go back to their normally open state, okay. So now, when this contact opens, it means that power is being cut from B1. It means that power is being cut from B1. So when the power goes off from the B1, okay, that is when the timing sequence starts. So let's say we set the timer to 6 seconds, okay. It means that after 6 seconds, okay, this contact will open. This contact will open, okay, and then the Q2 will de-energize. So it means that when you stop it, the, the, the connectors, they don't de-energize at the same time, okay. The K1 will go off first, and then the K2 will remain on for some time, okay, depending on the time you set on the off-delay timer. So after that time, the K2 will also go off, okay. So that is that. Now we are going to do the wiring to see how the operation is, okay. I'm going to do the wiring to see how the operation is. Okay, so I'll get my life is my one okay, to come to the stop push button. That is the one and two, the close side. So I'll connect it here. Okay, 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 okay. So I'll pick my cable here. So engineers, this is the complete wiring. 
So now we are going to explain the operation, okay? We are going to operate it to see how uh, they are working. So let me turn on the breaker, okay? So now as you turn on the breaker, the off grid timer will energize. So it means that this power light, okay, it will come on. So let me turn on the breaker. Okay, now it is energized now. So the power is on. Let me press the start pitch button. And let's see the contactors, okay? Let's see whether they will go inside. So, you see, as I pressed, the two of them have energized. Okay? Yes. The two of them have energized. Yes. So now, we have set the timer at 6 seconds. So, let me off the circuit, okay? So, let me press the off. When I press the off, the K1 will go off. But the K2 will remain on. And after some time, it goes off. So, let me stop it. You see, the K1 is off. The K1 is off. But the K2 is still on. After 6 seconds, it will go off. You see? After 6 seconds, it went off. So, let me start again. They are all energized now. So, and I press the off, the stop pitch button. The K1 will go off. Remaining this one. So, this one will remain on after 6 seconds. And then, it will go off. After 6 seconds, this one will go off. It is off. Now, it is counting. After 6 seconds, this light will go off. This one will turn guys. Yes. Okay. And I off it. Okay. Okay. So, engineers, this is a simple circuit you can design using the off delay timer. Okay. So, this circuit, where can we apply this circuit? You see, in our normal high voltage AC systems, like air conditioning systems, let's say when the compressor is working, the compressor and the blower, the blower fan, they all start at the same time. But when the, the, the thermostat cuts off the compressor, the blower fan will, will still be on to cool the compressor for some time. So after the set time, the blower fan will also go off. So this is similar to that circuit, okay? But it is not only that circuit that you can design using the off-delay timer. You can use off-delay timer to design so many circuits, so many diagrams, okay? So I just want you to, uh, to understand the basics of how to use off-delay timer, okay? Yeah, so yes, this is just a simple circuit that you can design using the off-delay timer. You see, the circuit that you design here is not difficult, okay? Yeah, so I would kindly urge you to... Um, Watch the part one of this video, okay? Watch the part one and then understand it so well. Then from there, you continue from the part two here, okay? Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the video, okay? Share it to your friends, those who want to learn controls. Just subscribe, okay? And also share. Put your comment down there. Let me see what you think of this exit. See you in my next video. Thank you.